At least one tradition isn't taking a back seat in this pandemic, the presidential pooch. Dogs have joined every U.S. leader in the White House except Donald Trump. President-elect Joe Biden has two German shepherds, and when his family moves into 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, there will be a furry first. Mike LeCouture explains. Much has been made of the historic nature of the U.S. election, and there's a furry footnote that is giving some dog lovers a reason to bark. For the first time in four years, Paws will be walking the halls of the White House with the arrival of President-elect Joe Biden's German Shepherds, Champ and Major. What makes this pup particular is that he's the first first dog that's a rescue, adopted two years ago by then former Vice President Biden from the Delaware Humane Association. This litter of puppies had had come from a dire situation and we had all really uh, become attached to them. So it was a really, really exciting day, obviously because President-elect Joe Biden was there. There was no security and very little fanfare when Biden picked up his pooch, but workers hope Major's newfound fame will reframe how people see shelter animals. What we really hope is that other people will be inspired by Major's rags to riches story. The importance of adoption is so, so real. There's nothing more rewarding than adopting an animal from an animal shelter. It's long been the practice for presidents to have pets in the White House. President Calvin Coolidge had collies, the Clintons had a cat named Sox, and William Howard Taft had a pet cow named Pauline. Historically, when a first family has a furry friend, there's a copycat effect, pun intended, with others around the world rushing to get similar breeds. And that has humane societies in Canada bracing for an even bigger influx of adoptive families. Because of COVID-19 and the pandemic and people being home uh, during this time, adoptions have soared. But you know, now with knowing that the, the new president of the United States has an adopted dog, that's really maybe just going to boost things a little bit more. And given the current state of American politics, maybe it is time for a rescue dog in the White House. Mike LeCouture, Global News, Ottawa.